It's the option where we give you our picks for the week. It is the option for NFL Week 2, and we are loaded for bear this year. Once again, the lovely Rita Sanchez has taken the week, winning 13 games. Friend of the show, Rob Adams in second. Foxy, myself, and Danny Butler tied at third. D, you're just, you're right behind us. You are right behind us with plenty, plenty more players. So if you want to sign up, there's still time. Go to our CBS Sports Pick'em League entitled The Option 2024. Sign up and invite your friends. Anybody can play. It's free. And the winner gets all the bragging rights out there. Week 2. Still no buys. Let's get to it. Thursday night. Prime video. The 1-0 Buffalo Bills go into Hard Rock to take on the 1-0 Miami Dolphins. I'm going with the Dolphins. Same. Same. The Bills. Yeah, they, they they had a little trouble with the Cardinals. So let, let's see what happens when they have a, a spike in competition. And Josh Allen Hurt is not throwing him. There you go. So there's there's that too. Good times. Good times. Our, an already depleted Bills team cannot afford to lose Josh Allen, even if it's on a non-throwing hand. <laughs> Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. The 0-1 Las Vegas Raiders go into Baltimore to take on the 0-1 Baltimore Ravens. Yeah, and the Raiders will be 0-2. I'm taking the Ravens. It's going to be closer than you think. I think that there's going to be a little bit of Minshew magic, but not enough to win. Lamar is still going to lead the team in rushing, and they will they'll get over that week one loss. The 1-0 Los Angeles Chargers come east to Charlotte to take on the 0-1 Carolina Panthers. Oh, man. Let's just call it what it is. Chargers. It's a 98-2 win percentage probability for uh, CBS Sports. So you're saying there's a chance. Hey, we've seen the we've seen the Chargers not post coming east. But they have never, ever played a team this bad. So I think you gotta stick with the Chargers. The 1-0 New Orleans Saints go into Jerry World to take on the 1-0 Dallas Cowboys. Uh taking the Cowboys. How about them Cowboys? How about them Cowboys? I still don't know what the Saints are because the Panthers were that bad. If that makes any sense. Did you even watch that game, Phil? No. No. No, 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 no. No. Potential game of the week material here. The 1-0 Tampa Baker Buccaneers go into the Motor City to take on the 1-0 Detroit Lions. I'm taking the Bucks. That's it. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. I'm going to take the Lions. I think they're going to keep the, the train rolling here. Baker's still going to have a hell of a game. Just the Lions will get the last laugh at home. The 0-1 Indianapolis Colts go into Lambeau to take on Malik Willis and the 0-1 Green Bay Packers. We didn't even mention the Jordan Love injury on our show this week. There was that much news. Colts. You got it, right? I mean, if Jordan Love was healthy, that totally changes the dynamic of things. But even so, CBS Sports has the Colts winning at 67% chance. So they're giving the Packers a shot here, probably because of Josh Jacobs. But eh, we'll see. The 0-1 Cleveland Browns go into Duval to take on the 0-1 Jacksonville Jaguars. Browns. 
Offensively, they looked so bad last week. I don't think the Jags are that great, but I think they are at least competent on offense. I'm going to take the Jags. The 1-0 San Francisco 49ers go into Minnesota to take on Sam Darnold and the 1-0 Minnesota Vikings. 49ers. Yeah. Yeah. Sam comes crashing right back down to earth. The 1-0 Seattle Seahawks go into Foxborough to take on the 1-0, the surprising 1-0, New England Patriots. Go Hawks. Yeah, I got to agree. Jacoby Brissett is not going to have that clean game that he had on Sunday. And credit to the Seahawks defense for that. The 0-1 J-E-T-S Jets, Jets, Jets go into Nashville to take on the 0-1 Tennessee Titans. The paper planes. I think they gotta win. They have to. Their, their new logo looks like a paper plane. A little bit. I could see yeah, that. I'm gonna start calling them the paper planes. <laughs> the new York paper planes. Especially when they do the, um, when it's the all white against the green backdrop, it does look like a paper plane. Shit, you're paper right. Plane. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I'm going to take the Jets. I, I think that... Uh, they have to win, right? They have, they have, to. To, they have and, to win. And, well, they're also not playing the Niners. So, maybe 19 is enough to beat the Titans. It sure as hell wasn't enough to beat the Niners. And Tony... I don't, I don't think Tony Pollard's going to have the day. You start with Justin Fields or Aaron Rodgers. Shit. <laughs> shit. That's tough. That's a Jimmy Dugan question. Oh my! There was a fire. You started, which I had to pay for. <laughs> I would have wrote to it, thank you, but they wouldn't give me anything sharp to write with. <laughs> Avoid the clap, Jimmy Dugan. It's good advice. It is. The one, the zero and one New York Football Giants go into DC. To take on Jaden Daniels and the 0 and 1 Commanders. I'm sorry, I have to take the commies. After that performance, I'm taking the commies too. <laughs> that, was, that was absolute garbage. The what, what we saw was atrocious. So it's what what hope, what confidence could you possibly have right now? Not much. Not much. Need some last minute fantasy football advice? Then the boys at the Fade Route have you covered. Check out Red Light, Green Light, 1, 2, 3 with DNZ every NFL Sunday, noon Eastern during the regular season. D and I give you our top 1, 2, 3 fantasy starts or green lights, and our top 1, 2, 3 fantasy sits or red lights. That's Red Light, Green Light, 1, 2, 3 with DNZ every NFL Sunday, noon Eastern during the regular season. That's Red Light, Green Light, 1, 2, 3 with DNZ. We're into the 4 o'clock hour. The 0-1 Los Angeles Rams go into the desert to take on the 0-1 Arizona Cardinals. Cards. I'm taking the Rams. I'm going to take the Rams. So look good. They look good. They look good. They can't close. So let's see if they can close this week. Like they got, that's they, two, but that's two tough they, ones in a row. I know, but for having a second baseman for a quarterback, they certainly moved up and down the field like they, they wanted to. And you know, James Conner, yeah. he's he he still ran the ball well, but surprising Marvin Harrison Jr. one catch, three yards, <laughs> four targets. That's, Ew, that's a problem. That's well, they're gonna that's have to. A problem. That's a chemistry lesson. They're gonna have to figure that part out. That that's, is a that's, chemistry. That is a chemistry lesson. Is right. That's a problem. We're gonna that's figure that out. He can't. He can't get more than one ball, dude. See now that's Jeez. bad. That's bad. Joe Bur- Joe Burrow's mediocre. You know the Marvin Harris thing's bad, but the Rams are a stiffer test than the, the Bills. We'll see what happens. But you know you can't be you can't be that. I mean you can't be that excited about it since you know about Puka Nakua and like there are injuries already with the Rams. So temper your enthusiasm. But I'm going to take the Rams. The 0 and 1 Cincinnati Bengals go into Arrowhead, not Burrowhead, Arrowhead, to take on the 1 and 0 Kansas City Chiefs. I mean, you have to go Chiefs. 
after watching the Bengals in that offense. How about them Chiefs? It, it, there's no reason not to believe that this train will continue to roll. The 1-0 Pittsburgh Steelers go into the mile high to take on Bo Nix and the Denver Broncos. Uh, Stellars. I'm, I'm, I'm on the field train. As much as I want to take the Broncos, I can't. I just, I, I don't, I don't Denver, think they're good. It's not I, easy to play there. It is in Denver. I just don't know about this team. I, I mean, they had the Niners, they had the, they had the Seahawks on the ropes and they let the Seahawks back into it. So can they close is the question. The same question I had about the Cardinals. And I, for that matter, can Justin Fields close? Like, we didn't see it consistently enough with Chicago. And I can't say that he's with a better team. You know, screw it. I'm going to take the Broncos. Why not? Why not? Javante Williams needs to get off. How about that? Remember, you have a running back, coach. Your Sunday night special. The 1-0 and Chicago Bears. Go into Houston to take on the 1 0 Houston Texans. Houston. Yeah. Prediction pain. <laughs> Caleb Williams, this is welcome to the NFL. This is going to be bad. And your Monday Night Delight, it's a battle of the birds. Kirk Cousins and the 0 1 Atlanta Falcons go into Philly to take on Saquon Barkley and the 1 0 Philadelphia Eagles. 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 No way he gets three touchdowns again, though. No way. Ain't no way. <laughs> but the Eagles are going to roll over the Dirty Birds. Those are our picks. What are yours? Join our CBS Sports Pick'em and play along with us, and we'll find out. It's free. Winner gets bragging rights. Come and see if you can take us down. And you see if you can take down the champ, lovely Rita Sanchez. Thanks for listening to this episode of our podcast. If you liked what you heard and you want to hear more, be sure to like and subscribe on your favorite podcast platform. Leave us a review, rate us five stars, turn on subscription notifications, and share on social media. Tell your friends and spread the word.